Arctix Freezer 30 series of CPU coolers have been synonymous with budget CPU cooling aficionados for a long, long time. In this review, we are examining the Arctic Freezer A35 series of CPU coolers to see if these well-priced 120mm class options can prove their worth. The specs are promising, the warranties are impressive, and Arctic even deploys a bling-looking, blacked-out heatsink ARGB fan version. So let's get right on into it and take a closer look. We have three Arctic Freezer A35 CPU cooler versions on display here. These use the same core heat sinks, but they do differ via their fan configuration and the actual fan that is deployed there. The individual versions start off with the baseline Freezer A35. That's a 37 euro offering with a fluid dynamic bearing 1800 RPM fan. You've got the Freezer A35CO, which is continuous operation. So that uses an 1800 RPM dual ball bearing fan that is rated for 24 seven operation. And that comes in at about 35 euros MSRP or 31 pounds at overclockers the UK. And then there's the Freezer A35 ARGB, which adds a little bit of bling to the lineup because that comes with a blacked out heatsink and an LED equipped 1700 RPM fluid dynamic bearing fan. This one is 43 euros nominally, or around about 35 to 37 pounds online in the UK. We're gonna focus on the Freezer A35 ARGB version for this review because it seems very cost effective and that makes it probably the most interesting out of the bunch, particularly because it's only about four to six pounds more than the standard versions without the more aesthetically pleasing design and the LED fan. Plus we did do a bit of test in between the versions and we found that even the higher speed fans on the non-RGB versions don't really make all that much difference to cooling performance. So we're gonna focus on the ARGB. Arctic opts for a reasonably sized 120 millimeter class heatsink for the Freezer A35. The black coated fin array utilizes 54 0.4 millimeter thick aluminum fins and four six millimeter copper heat pipes in a U-shaped orientation. The standard and CO versions stick with bare aluminum colored fins and copper colored heat pipes. The 734 gram heatsink is asymmetric in design with the front side being a flat shape for the 120mm fan to force air through, and a large cutout on the rear side looks primarily designed for screwdriver access to the mounting screw. Despite the A35 being an AMD specific cooler, the size of the heat pipe direct touch base really isn't very well optimized for the AMD chips that it's going to be cooling. A typical Ryzen CPU's heat spreader is significantly larger than this contact area for the base. So we are gonna to have to see how that design plays out for Arctic when it comes to thermal performance. Arctic uses shrouded fans for all models of the Freezer A35. This aids the visual appearance and tightness of fitting, which can be beneficial for air pressure, but it also reduces the requirement for sometimes ugly or awkward metal fan clips. Plus the general slenderness of the overall cooler should present RAM interference as a non-issue. The 120mm fan is pressure optimized and shares advantages with Arctic's somewhat legendary P-series fans, according to the company themselves. The ARGB version features 12 LEDs that are controlled via motherboard vendor software, and the fan operates at 200 to 1700 RPM via its four pin PWM connector. One key difference between the ARGB and the standard or the CO version of the coolers is that both of the latter ditch the LEDs on the fan, but they do ramp up to 1800 RPM top speed as previously mentioned. And another key difference on the speed profile here is that the standard Freezer A35 and the A35CO actually support a semi-passive running mode. So their fan speed curve is zero to 1800 RPM. Warranty for the ARGB equipped cooler is impressive at six years. And the non-RGB versions increase this coverage to 10 years, which is absolutely outstanding. Those timeframes are awesome for sub 40 pound coolers. So real credit to Arctic there. AM4 installation uses the default AMD backplate once the standard front side plastic fittings are removed. Arctic's two metal retention brackets then screw into the backplate at four points. After applying the bundled Arctic MX5 thermal paste, the CPU cooler heatsink can be screwed down using the two positions on its crossbar. And finally, there's the straightforward process of reattaching the shrouded fan and then connecting the cables. Needless to say, the overall installation process is straightforward, it's quick, and it results in a sturdy mount. 
We use our standard AM4 test system. This is built around a Ryzen 9 5950X processor run at Precision Boost Overdrive and overclocked to 4.45 gigahertz using 1.312 volts in the BIOS, which is around about 1.3 volts delivered or over 200 watts of package power. The motherboard is a Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master with its excellent VRM. We use a Seasonic TX1000 1 kilowatt power supply for plenty of clean juice. We've got a Gigabyte RTX 2060 graphics card in its zero RPM fan mode. And the chassis is a fractal design Meshify 2 with four 140mm fans, two intake and two exhaust. For testing, we use a 30 minute loop run of Cinebench R23 NT and we record the steady state temperature towards the end of that 30 minute run. Ambient temperature is maintained around 22 to 24 degrees Celsius and where it varies outside of that, we will add in additional runs to ensure consistency of the cooling data. As always, if you want more details on our test procedures and the hardware that we're using and the tests that we're running, then either check out our previous CPU cooling video reviews or head on over to the KitGuru main website. Let's jump into testing. Let's start off with noise performance at 100% fan speed. This is important for getting an indication of where our performance expectations should lie based on noise output. With a single 120mm 1700rpm fan utilising the benefits of Arctic's excellent P-series design, it comes as no surprise to see good numbers here. Arctic's Freezer A35 is up there with the quietest coolers that we've tested, plus there's an excellent speed control curve if you want even lower levels. As for 40 dBA noise data, well, Arctic is already below that level, even at full fan speed. In this instance, good company is kept with the likes of Be Quiet and Salentium PC coolers being the only others on the chart to also run sub 40 dBA at full fan speed. Nice one there, Arctic. The Freezer A35 ARGB offers stellar cooling performance in our overclock test situation. That's even when pitted against a bunch of expensive or high-end liquid coolers as reference points. Around 90 degrees Celsius running temperature for an overclocked 5950X with sensible ambience is good, and that is particularly true from a single fan RGB cooler that costs less than £40 in the UK and has few interference downsides. The Salentium PC Fortis 5 is a logical competitor, but Arctic beats that unit relatively comfortably. There is no change in the Freezer A35 ARGB's cooling performance when locked at 40 dBA, as it was already below that noise level at full fan speed. But with many of the comparison coolers having reduced fan speeds, the gap to higher end units is reduced significantly, in favour of the Arctic that is. The A35 ARGB still holds a lead over Salentium PC, but there really isn't much of a performance degradation on the Freezer A35 versus some of the 40 dBA locked mid-range all-in-one or air coolers. For our Precision Boost Overdrive testing, it is critical to note that small differences in the displayed delta temperatures are not as important for our data because the clock speed and cooling power achieved are more important metrics. PBO numbers are also promising for the A35 ARGB. Here, we see a good net core frequency for the locked 90 degrees Celsius temperature limit under PBO, and managing to handle 220 watts of package power is also very positive for a cooler that costs a little over £35 in the UK. Arctic's unit continues to punch above its weight class. VRM temperatures are utterly uninspiring though. This is likely related to the focused airflow via the shroud, resulting in minimal incidental airflow hitting our VRM heatsink. Of course, this situation could be different with a different motherboard VRM cooling design, but for our test system, Arctic's MOSFET cooling capabilities are weak, though certainly not worrying. Arctic's Freezer A30 series of CPU coolers are tried and tested and they've proven to be a success and we really do think that the A35 revision builds upon that previous success that we've seen from Arctic. The price versus performance offered by the Freezer A35 ARGB is superb. Arctic's cooler is punching above its price point when it comes to thermal performance and noise output and the standard A35 or A35CO versions are even cheaper than the blinged model. Speaking of the blinged model though, Arctic does a good job at keeping the ARGB version simple and with minimal compromise. A black heatsink looks good, a few LEDs on the fan is ample, and the three pin ARGB connection approach without any additional software is incredibly straightforward. The downsides are extremely minor. I guess the VRM cooling performance that we saw on our test system was underwhelming to say the least. 
but this could easily change if you have a different motherboard or chassis setup with different coolant airflow directions. The fan shroud is functionally and aesthetically positive, but it could have a slight detrimental effect on nearby component clearance, but that certainly wasn't an issue for our system's RAM or VRM. And I guess the continued segregated approach between AMD and Intel supporting coolers is perhaps a downside for somebody who switches platforms relatively frequently. And it certainly does ease the installation process, plus add to Arctic's environmental credibility because you don't have surplus brackets for the platform that you're not using. So overall, £35 for a competent, good looking ARGP cooler that offers excellent noise balance performance. That's really, really impressive. Throw on that impressive warranty for the LED equipped version and I certainly do like the Freezer A35 ARGB a lot. And by extension, if you're not interested in lights or bling, the A35 and the A35CO, they are fantastic deals at a slightly cheaper price point but for similar performance numbers. So Arctic, yeah, I think you've got a winner here with the Freezer A35 series. Very impressed. I've been Luke Hill for KitGuru. Thank you for watching this video review of the Arctic Freezer A35 ARGB and its partnering CPU coolers. Let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Are you genuinely quite impressed by the level of performance and the noise efficiency that you can get with a cooler less than 40 pounds? Let us know. If you like this video, do the usual YouTube stuff like subscribe, follow the channel, interact with us on Discord and other social media platforms. You can support us by buying a cool t-shirt or checking out our Patreon page and the likes. And as always, please do head on over to the Kick Guru website. That really supports us well. I'll see you in the next video.